Welcome to the second ply vlog. <laughs> That's all we prepared. <laughs> it's about warm. The warm it is. Too. Which is one of my favorite covers ever, which I know I always say, but love you that did. cover. You've said that since forever. <laughs> Actually, every single issue we work on, as we're working on it, Jillian gets at least one text that's like, this is going to be my favorite issue. Yeah. <laughs> They're all my favorite while we're working on them. It's like your children. Um, and Jillian, I think you're up first. I am. I'm going to talk about what were my favorites. Ta-da. Let's see. You uh, see uh, three pictures on the screen, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, my absolute favorite, anytime I get to talk about Maggie Casey, um, it makes my day. If I yeah. were, um, if it wasn't for Maggie Casey, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I was in a funk and really uh, wasn't enjoying spinning until I took a class with Maggie and she absolutely turned me around. So I extra love her. So I got to interview her for this and write an article and of course it has to be one of my favorite things. Um, I also like Sasha Dewar's um, dying with stuff in your kitchen article. That is the type of natural dying that I can do. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big dyer and it just seems like a lot to do natural dyeing, to have mordants and to look for things either to forage or to buy things. But Sasha just makes it really, really easy. Um, and then Kayana's illustrations are the third thing that I love in this issue. And I love Sasha's um, article so much, I went out and bought her new book, which is called Natural Ooh. Palettes, Inspirations from Plant-Based Color. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It, she takes one natural dye element and uses different um, mordants to show how the colors change. Wow. Really gorgeous. Clearly need a copy of that. Yeah. Your turn. Oh, my turn. Okay. You like. Hang on. I got to figure out all the stuff again. Oh, wait, here comes Ann Creek. I always say Craig, but now I know. We'll have to ask her. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share my screen. Is it shared yet? You've started screen sharing. Wait, wait, wait. It looks black. Here How is it now? Yes. There we are. Perfect. You guys see it? Okay. So talking about warmth. My, can you see me up in the corner? Or is it just my screen? I see you face. <laughs> okay. So my favorite thing about this issue, actually about all the issues, and I just wanted to illustrate it in this issue, is our photo shoots. So uh, I don't know if everyone knows this, but our photographer, Bernadette, is one of my very best friends of all time. And we have like this just amazing kind of blast together when we shoot the issues. Um, but the photos that look the most beautiful, I just wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes view of what our photo shoot looks like. So first, I'm gonna show you, this is the page. So we're looking at this picture right here, this beautiful uh, photo that is based on this lower photo um, and like looks great in the issue. And then here it is by itself, right? Beautiful. Um, and then here is us taking the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> which is essentially um, a couple blocks over from my old house in Kansas City in kind of like this rundown, you can tell, area. Lots of graffiti, lots of like closed buildings, um, peeling paint. And like, it's just the worst areas, like the rattiest looking areas make the most beautiful photos. So that's what it looked like. And that's what it ended up being. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about this issue and also just about every issue. The whole issue was shot in this area. Um, and also Bernadette on her teeny tiny stool, which is always adorable. Um, so that's my favorite thing about this issue. And I'm going to stop sharing now, right? Yeah. yeah.
Okay. okay. And I get to thank the people with my share again. Uh, who provided us fiber and uh, the wheels that we used. So Goody Fiber Supply Company, Palouse, Spinning Straw into Gold, Rewaters Farm, Moon Shadow Farm, oh. Essential Fiber, Clemis and Clemis, Valkyrie Supply, Ashford, Deadless Spinning Wheels, Lonnie's Lana, Ackerworks, Schacht, Kromsky, which I spelled wrong. Oh my God, I spelled it wrong, I'm so sorry. Kromsky and Lendrum. We couldn't do it without them. This is the first time that we've ever, uh, this issue was is the first time we started listing wheels instead of just fiber and tools on that, on that indie spinner page, um, which I'm kind of excited about. And when we post the recording of this on YouTube, there will be links to all of those, um, there will be links to all of those companies. So you can shop. If you yes. feel inclined, mostly yeah. we feel inclined. <laughs> um, yeah, like those, those companies really, I mean, on one hand, we do what we can to support as many small companies always, but especially during this time, right? This time is hard for everybody. Um, and we couldn't do it without them. I just sent out a call for dyers for next winter's issue and I should, I need to do that every issue because literally we got so many that we've never used before. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it's easy to just like go with someone we know, but it was so nice to see so many fresh dyers and spinners that wanted to be a part of it. It was awesome. So that issue should be filled with new people. Okay, what's next? Okay. Well, we're gonna try something new. Uh, JC and I both got a super scanner from Acreworks or is it Acreworks? How do you pronounce it? I'm pretty sure it's Acre. Acreworks. I once met um, Evanita. Uh huh. And she knows them, and that's how she pronounced it. Because I used to do Acre. She but takes she a lot does. of their gorgeous photography. She does, um, and she's an amazing spinner. And I've used the super, my super scanner, and JC has not. So I was going to show her and show you guys how to use it. I think it's um, it's really a fabulous thing. I'm switching to a different camera and I hope you can see. Okay. Can you guys see JC me? Can you see Ecker works. Yes, JC's pronunciation is correct. Thank you. You're welcome. I like when I'm right. You do like when you're right. Look, <laughs> it's my other camera. You're so much fancier than me. <laughs> I've been teaching. I've been having a blast teaching. All right, so it comes in this handy dandy case. And I never opened mine. And this is a nitty naughty that uh doesn't stress your shoulder i love it so much and it also counts so when you take it out of its bucket or its little pouch yeah. of love it looks like this which really confused me when i first got it i'll admit that i opened it and then put it back because it looks so confused it looks so confusing to me but then i watch the videos they have on youtube and it's perfectly easy. So, yep, you take off the wings. Oh, good. I thought I just yeah. broke it. You know, I know. I broke it off. Take off the wings. Okay. Take off the counter. There's a counter. With hey, go slow. I'm here. Wings off. Yep. Counter Wait. off. There's counter and then this, which is the turner. I got to make you bigger. It looks like a butterfly. Looks like a butterfly. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Okay, got it. Yep. Sorry, there. this this video, this um, camera angle seems inappropriate to me, <laughs> but well, there's not a lot of. <laughs> you would think that I would have um, thought of, it, but I did not. Um, you can take off this and put it aside because we won't use it for this one. That's okay. to make a bigger skein. No. And then take off. This one that has all the novels on it. Uh, do I have novels? You should have this and this. Oh wait, I took that off already. Oh, okay. take this off too. Okay. <clears throat> the short, just put the short one aside so it doesn't get in your way. And then flip the whole shebang over and pop up these sides. Both okay. Off. 
Oh, in. Yep. Okay. Then you put the novelty thing into are these the technical terms. They are okay. the novelty thing into the into the wings. They show me. Yeah. Oh, what is you it? want to make sure is that one of these um, fins is aligned with one of these straight up um, wings. Those words, okay. Okay, hush. I'm doing my best. So what is this double? What are these for? This like, the like uh, longer slots. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know yet. How about that? I've only used this one way. Okay, so you're saying that my little fins have to go straight up with the wings. One of the one of them has to go straight up with the wings on both sides. And you want to make sure that they are offset like a nitty naughty. See? Yep. Got it. Good. Then you can put it, slide it into the Okay, can I see, does, is it supposed to just barely slip into those little? Yep. Like, okay, what if I get going so fast it flies out? Well. Okay, I'm ready. Good. I am going to be trying. So recently, uh, I went through all of my yarn when we moved here. Just like last week, I went through all of it. And uh, I found from right before I started the magazine, up here, guys, up here. Um, <laughs> I found like, <laughs> I found like five sweaters <laughs> that were partially done. And uh, I have no idea, literally have no idea what patterns they were. Um, so for several of them, I'm going to rip them and re-knit. So this is one of them. So that's the yard I'm gonna to use to test this thing out. So, all right, back so to you, Jill. One end gets the counter. And what do you mean by one end? See right oh. in here, there's a hole. Ah. Yeah. Okay, and what, and the other end gets this thing? Yep, and you can make sure to turn your counter to zero. Oh, so that's how you keep it from flying off. And also Bex, who's on the call. Hi, Bex. Hi, Bex. She has a super scanner too. She yeah. says the short one of these can stay on if uh, you're not using it. Um, I had to get in my way when I did it. So to me, it's just easier to take it off. Um, and she also says, if you need to make shorter skeins, you can slide it further down. That's what the other holes are for. All right, I have some commercial yarn. Okay. <clears throat> because I only have singles hanging. So there's are these black ones that have notches in it. Notches yep. in them. And right here, got it. Um, I wind it around and then put it through the notch. Mostly because I have very fine um, yarn. Yeah. Okay. And then you work it like a nitty naughty. Wait, did you put it through both notches on both? Nope, just one. Okay. One side. Yeah. And you go diagonally across to the next one. So I'm going from here to here and around the outside. Hang on. I'm going from here to here yeah. around the outside. Yep. And then turn it. Ah, I pulled it out. My knitting is too tight. Okay. So here pull a here. bunch of them. And then which, how are you turning it? What do you turn it with? The other, the thing that looks like a butterfly on the other end that you put on. See on this side, there's a counter on one side and there's a, like a butterfly handle on the other side. They are never going to hire me to display their stuff again. Okay, hang on. Okay, first I have to tell you guys this, that 
after my first book came out, I took the old college course, like the old college master spinning course. And <laughs> my first year I was with uh, Michelle Boyd, who's an amazing spinner and very technical. And uh, she was a little bit nervous of having like a teacher in her class because um, teachers can make the very worst students in case you didn't know that. But she was very nervous about having a teacher in her class. <laughs> and I think it put her at ease that I had no idea how to use a nitty nutty at all. For my whole entire spinning career, I'd been using like a, like a skein winder, um, not even a skein winder, a yarn uh, umbrella. And I'd been twirling it with my hand like this. So that class, that first year, I mostly got how to use a nitty nutty. So um, I still sometimes get lost on my nitty nutty. Okay. So you're working from, you're working at diagonals. So here to here, and you're wrapping it around the outside. Yes. Let me, how do I make you bigger? I need to see more of you. There, there you are. Okay. okay Everybody okay. wants to see you. Well, I am. Okay. We're wrapping it. You are wrapping it. But how do you keep it from sliding? Tension. Right? Okay. And not too much tension because you don't want to change the count. I'm not doing it right. Oh, we should have rehearsed this. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a six end nitty nutty, which doesn't help. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, Jillian. Yes. Can I? Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> I have got it through my slot. Yes. You stop to start with, and you yeah. take it across the diagonal to the up here. No, nope. yeah. down here. Yeah, and then turn it away from you. Okay, away from and you. here. Towards. Yep, and then here. Yep, and then here. Yep. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Here, you know, just like a nitty naughty, you have to get started and not think about it too hard. <laughs> Every time I think about doing a nitty naughty, it um, yeah. I get lost. Can you guys see that I'm totally doing it now? Totally. And how does your shoulder feel, you who have shoulder issues? Uh, it feels fine. I do have shoulder issues, especially uh, not as bad right now because we haven't been climbing in this cold, snowy winter, but we have been snowshoeing a lot. And that doesn't tend to give my shoulder problems. Neither does long draw. Oh, this is very easy. OK, I get it. It is, and it's oh. really. It's can, so zen. How fast can you do it? Not very fast. It's not a race. What? Yes, Everything you, a race. it's a race. Everything's a race. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I see someone doing it. Bex, you're doing it. Oh, where is she? Can I watch you do it for a sec? I'm going to make you big. I'll uh, put her. Spotlight. All right, let's see it. Did you spotlight her? Yes. Okay. Also, it's nice to see you. I know. Hi. <laughs> sweater. What sweater is that? Uh, ten show. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. I don't have any yarn to um to demo with. So, well, I have a lot of yarn to demo with, just not available right now. <laughs> yeah, that's why I use. That's why I use commercial yarn. I have lots of singles, nothing wide. Okay. Okay. Is, is the, okay, so I get this now and I think that it's very handy. However, I'm just gonna ask two questions. One, I'm sure it is capable of doing more things that I'm doing right now. You can do smaller skeins, you can do bigger skeins. It's also counting for you. While, yes, it's counting. While going. So I've done 15 wraps, but, okay, here's the thing. Are you ready? Put yours at zero. Yes. You ready? Yeah. Are you gonna go backwards now? No, no, you're gonna go and I'm gonna go. I can't go fast. You ready? Hang on. Mine's not even set up to see. I gotta turn it. Ugh. I wasn't ready prepared for a race. Well, I think my counter, Bex, I think, let me look, let me see. Is your counter counting? 
Well, it was. Yes, yeah. that was one, but I'm putting it as- I think you're right, Kate, it's just a little bit offset. Okay, is it supposed to be like down like this? Better. I've heard it click. Yes, okay, you ready? Okay. All right. Tracy's not competitive at all, y'all. I'm really not. I mostly do I these things. People in. I mostly do these things to show that I am not very good at them. <laughs> I feel like it's um it's good to see people that see weird you think would be good at something are not good at it. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. You got it at zero? Yes. All right. Three. Two, one, go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, okay. what? Are you saying no, stop? Just... Okay, stop. Okay. What are you at? Um, four. So eight yards. <laughs> Me too. Eight yards, no, but I win or lose because look what I did. Can you see right here? I've got a strand that go, that fell off and went down. So <laughs> Mine was only a three anyway. You win. <laughs> but okay, so wait, I know that we have to move on, but really quickly, how do you make a smaller skein with it? You can scooch in, see the, see the fins and the in, inner fins Hang on the black, right in the middle that are holding the wings. These no, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I see those. Yeah. And then this extra piece yeah. lets you make a bigger one because it slides out more. Okay, but I want to ask you what these little, these are. These look like something that I should know. Do they slide in some way or are they just holding the whole thing together? They're holding the whole thing together. Okay. And I know looking beautiful because it's Acroworks. Yes. <laughs> yep. um now quickly show me how to break it down okay please 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 show me how to break it down you back that's I not take off my ends first right yes take off your ends counter off uh, usually I would tie and label my yarn, right? But no one does that. Whatever. I do. Just like no one samples. I have the worst memory. Okay. Take all my pieces apart first. Is it possible that I'm doing this faster than you? Sure. Okay. okay. Wait. Yes, you got lost. Well, this thing, where does it slot in at? You hear? Yes. Yep. Okay. Right? The little one has a hole. There's a hole for the little one right here. Okay. Wind. Yep, got it. Yep. Okay. I should make you bigger so I can see. And these spots are where the counter and the yes. twirler go. The acres are going to um, probably hate that I did not figure this out before the video. Well, no, you've never seen it and you made it work. I did, and it was awesome. It is awesome. And it's also beautiful. I um, had to finally fold mine up when um, I got ready for this because once I had it set up, I didn't want to put it away because it's so pretty. I like just looking at it. Okay, sorry. I got distracted by just now having gotten something right. Okay, okay, I feel good about this. And will you use it? Yes. I will use it. It's very, everything that they do is so like beautifully done and 
well organized. And if you've ever gotten something from them, so well packaged. Well, I think they're intuitive too. Um, yeah. I tend to overthink stuff. Imagine yeah. that. And that's usually what trips me up. Gotcha. And, that never uh, happens to I'm me. thinking too hard about it instead of just thinking what it practically, you know, that it has to be practical and what it yes. needs to do. Speaking of um, thinking too hard and overthinking something. <laughs> Stop attacking me. Welcome to my life with the magazine. Um, is it time for me to do the thing where I've overthunk this thing so much that now I need help? Uh, we can, or we can do the uh, Kayana interview, whichever one you want to do. Let's do that first, and then I'll I'll remember that I overthink things, and then we'll we'll circle back around. Okay, circle back around. All right, I'm gonna un spotlight you. Okay, was uh, I split that whole time? Both of us were. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's all right. Side by side. All right. Um, because she was such a huge part of the issue, we decided to do a interview with Kayana Nelson, our illustrator, who is fantastic. We love um, her. Yeah, she's been with us since Supported Spindle. So less than a year. So is it yeah. three issues? Three issues? Uh, supported Basics Prep and this and Warmth. So is, I think it's four. Wait, summer, autumn, winter. No, you're right. Three. And this fourth one that's coming up will be her fourth. Okay. Am I right? Your cover. Um, and also here is an illustration from Supported Spindle, which was her first one. So she has a huge variety of how she illustrates. I just wanted to go back and look at her. I had her first issue. I love her work. I do too. All right. So this is a recording. I hope you can hear it. It's about seven minutes long. Um, and I ask her all kinds of questions. Here we go. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I am here with Kayana Nelson, illustrator extraordinaire for Ply. She started with our, what did we say, uh, summer 2020 issue, the supported uh, spindle issue, and we haven't looked back. She has really uh, made a beautiful difference in our magazine. Um, Welcome, Kayana. We love you at Fly. Thank you. Thank you, Jillian. I love this job. I love working with you guys. Um, are you a spinner? People ask us that all the time. Yes, I am. I actually pulled some of my spinning to show cool. up. Show, um, baby, show. Yes, yes. So I don't get to spin as much as I really want to, but when I do, I love <laughs> crazy. Wow. Art yarn. Texture, oh. art yarn. So I love, like, this is all scraps. So I love doing bats with scraps um, and just doing crazy, bright, colorful stuff. Cool. All stuff like that. And this is all you, stuff I tied. Yeah, you're a dyer. I didn't know that. Oh. You're a dyer. You sell yarn and fiber and all kinds of stuff. You have yeah. a website, a shop called Stitch Together Studios? Yes, I run Stitch Together. That's my full-time gig. Um, so I'm an indie dyer full-time. And I do a lot of illustration for Stitch Together, too. So um, it's kind of all interwoven. So that makes you crazy busy. But what other, do you do any other kind of making? Uh, too much. Like, I'm always starting new crafty projects or new hobbies which is insane because I don't need more crafty hobbies um, <laughs> yes <yeah. laughs> well, <I> need more <laughs> um, but I, I love to cross stitch and embroider and I grew up sewing when my girls were little I made tons of their clothes I don't anymore now that I'm so busy um, but yeah I just I do all kinds of of sewing and crafting and I'm always looking at new things to try. You just started doing ceramics, right? I you noticed did. that on your Instagram. Wow, yeah, actually it's been a couple years. I took um, a class at our local ceramic studio uh, like two years ago. Might actually be almost three years ago now. 
and just got obsessed with it and um, bought a lot of my own equipment about a year or two ago. Of course. Yes, of that's course. part of the fun of starting something new and yes. buying all the toys. <laughs> buying all, all the stuff. Tools. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I have my own kiln here in the studio and um, I really enjoy it. It's like, it's a nice reprieve from fiber, you know, when I need to yeah. step away from this, it's a different medium and it, but it still gives me like that, like the texture and the color and being able to illustrate on it. And I love the going from like mud, this is mud uh -huh. to right. This is now glass. Like this is now a finished, like actually beautiful thing that you can drink coffee out of. Yes, yes. Like yeah. I love that process. I love it. It's it's super cool. Cool. Yeah. Um. So, how do you find your inspiration for your illustrations or any of your making? Um. I spend a ton of time on Instagram. I'm super inspired <laughs> by. That's like my favorite social media outlet. I'm super inspired by other artists. Um, I'll usually like see something and go, oh my God, that is so cool. I want to try that, you know? And then I'll, I'll say, okay, how can I take that and put myself into it? Like, how can I take this idea or this concept or this technique and, you know, put myself into it? And yeah. I love that. I love that like exploration of, what can I do with this? Right. I also love the, when you see, you know, at your mornings or whenever you get on Instagram, putting two things that you wouldn't necessarily think about together, like yes. two different makers or two different ideas, combining yes, I have, things. I have this great idea and I haven't gotten to it yet, um, but combining yarn and ceramics, like oh, whether cool. like, embroidering on a finished ceramic or like creating some kind of substrate out of ceramics to incorporate the yarn into is definitely something that I want to work on you know in my spare time but yeah I love wow. the idea of putting those together when you have a creative brain you have to have something bubbling in the back yeah. all the always. time always. or it feels like <laughs> that something's not right something's yes. not right yeah I'm not I'm not turning things over right which is probably why I like like search out new things all the time is because uh -huh. like I can't stop you know I can't stop the creative like bubble flow yeah the flow of it all yeah do you consider yourself um, a process person or a product are you a finisher no or <laughs> yeah no <laughs> I'm definitely process um, I have so many unfinished product projects. Like it's I knew I'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the process. Like I love the exploration of uh, starting with something and transforming it into something else and all the steps that are in between. Yeah. Um, if you had to recommend three books or three books that are your desert island books, what would you recommend? What books do you like to recommend? Okay, my top three books of all time, and I have read these books at least 10 times each probably. Yeah. And it's a really weird eclectic mix, but number one would be Dune, uh -huh. favorite book of all time. Are uh, you gonna watch the new movie? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been patiently waiting. I mean, maybe not so patiently waiting. For that, yes. But I've read it and I've listened to the audiobook like a million times. It's one of my favorites ever. Um, Outlander would be number yeah. two. And then number three would be Pride and Prejudice. Oh, right on. That's a yeah. great mix. Weird a mix. mix. Yeah. It kind of perfectly sums me up. Like those are all the genres I love. And yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, Kiana, thank you so much for bringing your creativity and your warmth to our magazine your illustrations really really are are exceptional I can't wait to see what you do in in every issue we really love having you on in ply thank you so much I absolutely love working with you guys and it's an absolute pleasure and seriously like a dream come true
right. Sorry, I'm putting up my favorite books now. You are not. <laughs> I am, them, I chatted. Put them in chat. Oh, I wondered what was going on. I heard clicking, I heard clicking, I heard clicking. <laughs> I thought like the sound went out. I figured, oh, she would text me if she- uh, Ooh, chat. I'm the only one chatting. Everyone else was paying attention, but I was chatting. <laughs> Um, okay, now it's your part. Okay. That we need opinion. All right, let me look at everybody again. For some reason, um, this vlogging, while I enjoy it and I like talking to you, I find it's kind of like teaching a class to only like three or four people because- They're there. Every, I know, but everyone's muted. And so I'm like, did they just laugh? Was I funny? Um, Yes. Because you don't hear the like, so I have to have it so every, uh -huh. so I can see everybody, or else I can't, you know. You can set up a separate, um, <laughs> a second screen, so just to see people's faces. You can. Do um, yeah, you know. So I no no now I can't see anybody. I got to go back to where I can see everybody. Okay, there we go. You do your thing. Okay, you're gonna share a screen anyway. I am gonna share screen. Okay, so we were talking about overthinking things and wow, Bex, your cat is like loving what you're doing. <laughs> um, overthinking things, which is a thing that I do, you might be surprised to know. <laughs> um, usually the cover of the magazine is not something I have trouble with. Usually we shoot specifically for a cover or I know exactly what it's going to be or one jumps out at us. But this time for the double coated issue, which comes out in spring, um, it's been much harder than normal. And part of it is that there are so many fantastic photos. And part of it is that we couldn't shoot it because we wanted it to be a sheep. And so we have, we are relying on all the authors that sent in photos, which are astoundingly good. Um, so we're having trouble deciding. So we narrowed it down to four and I would like you guys to vote on which one you think we should use. We're going to have a poll and it's going to show in real time, which one wins. So first I've got to go through and share them with you and show them to you and talk to you about why. Um, and tell them what we named the covers. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna show you each one separately and then all together. And then here's the thing about when you, it's not just the prettiest picture. Um, when I decide on a cover, it's got to go with all the other like magazines fit in but not replicate any. So in this case, I'm looking at all the covers that also have sheep on them to make sure that it doesn't like look too much like it. Because mainly what will happen is when we go to pack back issues, we will accidentally like <laughs> pack the wrong one because they look too similar. Um, so the first one, I'm gonna share my screen as soon as I figure out where that is. Okay, where's the little share screen thing? There it is, share screen. And here it is, share. Okay, I'm sharing. Now I'm gonna show you, there. There's the first one. We call this one the angry sheep. Okay, now there's the second one. We call this one the shy sheep, mostly because of this little guy peeking out the side. Um, which I love. I like how the whole thing's framed. It's very pretty. Ignore that. It's a note that I put on for myself. It does not really go in the picture. Um, the next one is this one, which is the, what do we call this one? That's the, the sexy impatient. sheep. Oh, is it the sexy or the impatient? Maybe it's sexy. I think this is a sexy sheep, which is beautiful, right? Like the Icelandics that we want to get in those fleeces. Right? Who doesn't want to just squish their hands in that? Um, the next one is this, which are the uh, impatient sheep. I just want to point this dude out right here. Tom. I, <laughs> I didn't notice it until recently, um, which is adorable. Uh, so there, those are our four. I'm going to show you all together, right? There they all are. 
But now I'm gonna show you with the other three issues that have sheep on the front. There they are. Let me move my face, there we go. This one, I think kind of reminds me of the Lester one, even though one's a water painting and one's a picture. But there you go. Um, this one kind of reminds me of Bond and Corydale just because there's two sheep faces looking at you. This one kind of reminds me of Down because, you know, it's a gathering of sheep. And there they all again, angry, shy, impatient, and sexy. Oh, okay. Did I skip? What did I skip? No, you inverted two of the names, but we'll use it. That's fine. Oh gosh, don't look at that. No one look. <laughs> um, well, yeah, because sexy at first was this amazing Kinu sheep that was like, when you get the issue, has the most come hither look over her shoulder. Well, like. that one can be sexy because of the tongue. Okay. <laughs> we have a different idea of what sexy is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I have to rationalize it always. <laughs> um, okay, so there are the four. That's what you're deciding between, okay. those four. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna try a poll for the first time. Okay, you guys got them? You got the one you're gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing. So you have to remember which one, which one you're voting for. Angry, shy, impatient, sexy. You got it? Okay, stopping. All right. All right. Try a poll. Jillian's putting up a poll. Launch poll. Angry, shy, impatient. Right. You guys voting? Yes, you can watch it. Look, that's so cool. I'm going to do a poll all the time. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Shy is, shy is pulling way ahead. Yeah. Okay. I'm into that by a lot. 90% have voted. There's 10 of you. I mean, there's 10%. There's four of you that have not voted. Am I one of them? I better vote. I might <laughs> Wait, I can't vote. We can't vote. We're the host. Okay. Well, there's still four of you that haven't voted. You get the main vote anyway. You could just say, oh, this is the one I want. All right. Okay. Good. There you go. I feel good about that. I do too. Okay. Done. You guys have decided. Try sheep, share results. Yep, does everyone know which one that is? Everyone feels good? Yep. Okay, closing it down. The that means... the doorway of the barn. Yep, doorway of the barn, which I think is beautiful. And um, also is a Drysdale sheep in case you were wondering. It's the only one of the, the decisions that wasn't, or the choices that wasn't Icelandic. So there you go, Drysdale sheep, next cover. All right. Okay. Yay, What's that next? was easy. That was. Okay. You should have heard, by the way, all the dissent between the like four or five people that work at Ply, mm -hmm. um, all the dissent <laughs> about those covers. Rationalizations. Like, Why? I want to touch that sheep. Nobody <laughs> could agree. Cover, but is it a good cover? Right. It's not about spinning that sheep. Um, okay. Um, all right. Next the next thing. thing is um, Sammy. JC. It's what? Ask JC. Oh gosh, right. Yeah. So there's a new thing that we're going to do on the blog and in the <laughs> newsletter, right? I was going to use the one where you were standing on your hands with the um, with the socks, one of the behind the scenes socks ones, but it didn't show your face. I'm laughing at this. So, she knows everything. That's you do know everything. So ask JC's a new thing that we're doing. And we'd like you to send in any of your questions about that you have about spinning to JC. There's going to be not how to use a nitty naughty. That cannot be one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to expand here for just a second okay. because I used to write this thing for this magazine from New Zealand called Entangled, and every issue they would have me, they'd give me a question, and I would write this like answer. And I thought it was super fun because I got to be a little cheeky in it. I got to be like a little loose and a little like silly. You got um, to be yourself. You got to be yes. yourself. So we thought that uh, 
blog and newsletter, it might be a good, a good space for that like cheekiness instead of, you know, on the pages of the magazine. So um, for me, at least. <laughs> so, uh, so that was, it's kind of the idea behind that. So um, there'll be a link you guys can. There'll be a link at the bottom of the video when we post it on YouTube and there'll be um, a link on the website too. So whenever you have a question, you can just go in there and fill out the form and JC will answer it. And if I don't know the answer, I'll find it out and then pretend like I knew it. You'll lie. <laughs> no, actually I'll send it to Jillian because she knows more than me. <laughs> I just have all the books that I've looked at. <laughs> Okay, so now I am going to give you guys a sneak peek of the next issue, right? That's the next? Uh, no, you're, or are you doing the digital? I got both. I got both. Okay, rock on. Okay, sneak peek and digital. I'm going to share my, I'm going to share my screen again because you know I'm super good at that. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that and here we are. Can you guys see it? Let me back up. Okay, so this issue, the next issue is, as you can see, the double-coded issue. This is now the cover. Um, there's a lot in it. It was super fun because I really didn't know a ton about like primitive and double-coded sheep. Um, so it was really fun and it was just an amazing photo shoot. Plus so many people sent in their own pictures. Okay, so Here's a gorgeous issue. I can't wait to have it in my grubby little hands. No. <laughs> um, so this is the TOC. I just wanted to give you guys a slight like look through, but not for very long. It's got this beautiful vest. By which is Bages, Bages, who is the feral yes. knitter, feral extraordinaire teacher. And this model is our photographer because as you guys know, we can't really, it's COVID. We haven't really been able to branch out in models. So we kind of have to take pictures of each other. I took this picture. But Bernadette is gorgeous. She's beautiful, right? She's gorgeous. Yes. And the, the, the vest is also very nice. Um, also has a really interesting story. Uh, so if you ever think that you are not a good enough spinner or fine enough or a consistent enough spinner, this vest, the story in the magazine of this vest, um, I think will be good. <laughs> um, it's by Sh it's out of Shetland. Then we have mittens out of Caracool. We have this beautiful, um, it's kind of a, a sweater in blanket form, uh, spun lopi style. And that is the most, um, that is my friend, uh, Maya Siska, and she is from Iceland, and I have been to her house, so I've been right there, and I love her. Um, Icelandics, we have this shawl, are you ready? By Fancy Bush! Yep. It's Bush! <laughs> um, out of the sexy sheep I was telling you about, the Kinu. How beautiful, and I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but how sexy is that sheep, right? Which is an Estonian sheep. Yes. Yeah. But more about how sexy it is. Yeah. But not just me, right? Like I'm not like it's like it's so come hither. Um. Then there's a whole bunch of other sheep, like a lot of other sheep. Um. So and they're all really really cool. Um, the most. Could be the most sheep we've ever had different breeds think, we've had in an issue. don't look at that that's more stuff <laughs> so yeah that now yes i'm going to but it is i think it's the most sheep we've ever had in the coolest pictures and um i i really i learned so much this sheep is so awesome it eats only or mostly seaweed which is super cool okay so now i'm going to show you guys um well i'm going to talk to you wait no no pull nope stop sharing Oh no, things are happening, bad things. I'm screen sharing, I'm gonna stop the share because I'm gonna tell you. Um, so a couple of the questions from last week, last issue, three, three months ago, um, were about digital issues. So I talked about how everybody now has a digital subscription along with their print subscription. So you can have a print or a digital subscription by itself um, but if you have a print subscription, you also automatically have a digital subscription. And then there were some questions about how you access these. And if your old issues 
that you've gotten print would also be accessible. And yes, they are. So everybody, every issue that you have had in print, you should also have in digital in your account. And I'm just gonna quickly run through how to get to that. So I'm gonna share again, you ready? You'd think I would remember where it was from last time, but. It takes a screen. That's the thing. And there we go. Share over here. Okay, so here's how you go. This is the front page of the, of the website, okay? So on the front page, you have the subscribe button and you have this manage subscription button. Both buttons will get you there. Um, they are, either one is <laughs> perfectly fine. Where they will get you is here. If you don't have your account number, it's totally fine. This little, don't do that. Oh no, bad things. How does this happen to me? <laughs> this little thing, you can't see it now because I've done this thing. Oh, right. Ah. You guys see under this bar, there's a little thing that says, Move your mouse. Don't, yes, don't know your account number. If you just click that, it will literally send you your account number in like five seconds. So you go through here. What? Did you make that thing? What thing? Somebody's having chicken and rice. <laughs> okay, then that's not about me. Um, so that's where you go when you are in your account. This is my son, by the way. Um, right here in the middle is your view digital issues. When you click on that, it takes you to every digital issue, every issue you've ever had. Hey, right there. <laughs> um, every issue you've had and you can view it or download it. If you view it online, um, you're always going to have to be online to view it. If you download it, which we highly recommend, then you will have it on your device forever. So there you go. That's what it looks like if you view it online. It's got these little arrows and you can click through it. But again, I totally recommend that you download it. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my, did I stop sharing? Yes, okay. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's all I got. All right. I have a big thing of just Anne. Is Anne here? Anne, are you here? Maybe she's making Please. chicken and rice. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's everything I got. All right. Me too. That was a good okay. one. Yeah. You guys got anything? You got any uh, questions? Oh, there's some chatting. Is there anything I need? We need to talk Anne's about here. Uh, Anne's making chicken fried rice, or someone in her house is. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm reading through this. Oh yeah, so Lonesome Dove, I have to say, always love the book. I could, it's like my comfortable, I can just reread it book. Have you read it, Jillian? Um, who's the author? Is that? Larry. Oh, Mc Larry McMurtry? Yes. I have read it. I was on a huge Larry McMurtry kick. Also, I love Last Picture Show. He wrote that. Never and the movie is exceptional. And also his son, James McMurtry, is a great musician. Jillian always knows way more about the stuff I bring up than I know. You know why? I'm <laughs> old. <laughs> My birthday is in 10 days, 12 yeah. days. And I will be 46, my friends. And my daughter in two weeks, three, three weeks, turns 14, my middle, which is, um, but yeah, so Lonesome Dove, love that book. Uh, what else? Ooh, someone liked the Spinning Joins demo. Double coded. All right, I don't think there's any. Can you purchase previous individual issues at all? Yes, any one of them on the website, in the shop. Um, no. Barbara Kingsolver, I actually just started reading um, Poisonwood Bible again. That's a good one. And I just started reading uh, Love in the Time of Cholera to Olive. And Threshing Barn in UK, yes. Uh, no, you will not. If you subscribe through the Threshing Barn in UK, you will not access digital copies. It's a separate, it's a separate thing. Um, she orders a bunch of magazines and then she sells them. Um, so no. 
I haven't read Prodigal Summer either. Um, so I'm sorry, that is, that is a problem I haven't really considered. I'll write it down. Okay, let me think about that. Anyone got anything else? Aspirational, yes. Online workshops, recommendations, do you have any? Me. Besides, I recommend yours. Which one do you recommend? Um, um, Marilyn Cheap and Wool. Dude, I gave you a perfect. You meeting. are you teaching online? No. Okay. But, but you would. No, I have classes that you can take on. You do. You have two great classes um, on Craftsy. <laughs> Kidding. Yes. Is Craftsy? Is it still Craftsy? It is again. Someone else bought it. All right. No, um, I'm. <laughs> I've watched both of your classes actually on Craftsy. But, but um, Maryland Sheep and Wool is going virtual this year and is going to have a whole week's worth of spinning classes. Can you still hear me or should I yell? Oh my gosh. Can you hear me? I can, okay. but my, I forgot my other favorite book. Oh my gosh. Uh, Rothfuss. The Sound, The Name of the Wind. Name of the Wind. Oh my gosh. Have you read that or listened to it? Yes. I have listened to it like three times, the whole series, and I'm waiting Henry, for the next one. Henry's favorite book. Me too. I love it. And it's not just like, it's a book I could read or listen to over and over because the writing is so good. I just never want it to end. I don't even care about the resolution. The audio is great. But Marilyn Sheep and Will should be going right. live in a week um, with their classes. So they're doing a week's worth of classes the last week of April. Um, and then... Um, and then they're doing vendors and sheep sale the first weekend of May. So those classes are coming up. And I know Maggie Casey's teaching there. I'm teaching there. I'm not sure who else. I might take a class. I haven't, I haven't taken a class in a long time. I signed and up I, for a bunch of knitting classes for next, for in February. I am really missing uh, people. That's why I would have voted for the sheep in a gathering because I miss people. And that reminded me of hanging out with spinners. Yeah. Yeah. I miss people. Um, but hopefully that'll be kind of, you know, getting better. I'm, I'm very hopeful for ply next year. Oh yeah. It'll have to happen. It has yeah. to. Okay. We got anything else? Are we done? We are good. The chiefs play in an hour. And this is the last game we have to win before we go to the Super Bowl again. Are they playing Buffalo? No. I'm I don't know. My daughter's cheering for Buffalo. I don't do football. I only um, I only started oh, the Packers with, are playing. And big this. fan of the homes. Is this record was this recorded? I was in another meeting and yes, yes. it's recorded. It's gonna be on YouTube. And now you're okay, so you're gonna YouTube. send us the link somehow or something. Okay. And now you're going to be on it, which will be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Beverly, you'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. Have a great week. The next time you see us, we'll be talking about double coded. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. I just needed to answer Debbie about Patrick is fine. He is off the concussion list. He will be playing in an hour. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>